Meantime, Americans are missing more work than ever before to take care of sick children. We got that from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. They say that more than 100,000 people couldn't make it to their jobs last month, and that is an all-time high, even higher than any time we saw during the pandemic. Pretty interesting. Maybe one reason, the climbing amount of RSV infections we keep talking about in kids. Turns out older adults are also catching it more than ever now. U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says about six out of every 100,000 and seniors has been hospitalized with RSV. Adults at risk for the most severe cases, 65 years of age and older. And all of this information coming out as we all kind of get ready for the holiday and you're making your plans and we know for many of you that'll include, we hope, getting together with family and friends. Olivia Leach today looking into a few things to think about to keep you and your loved ones healthy through the holidays. According to state health officials, the flu season here in Texas kicked off earlier this year. So I spoke to a local family doctor who's seeing a spike in flu cases here in North Texas about how you can keep your family safe. So we are definitely seeing more cases unexpected. Dr. Gutierrez is a family medicine doctor in Carrollton. She says in recent weeks, she's seen an increase in flu cases and respiratory infections at her practice. The latest numbers, according to Tarrant County Public Health, shows the percentage of positive flu cases increased 70 percent from October 22nd to October 29th. In Dallas County, the percentage of positive cases jumped a whopping 136 percent over that same time period. For the last couple of years, we've been living in a, in a different type of environment in which there's been less respiratory infections because everybody has been masked. So this year, you know, people are really not masking anymore. Um, so we're seeing an increased number of respiratory infections. With COVID, RSV, and flu circulating, it can be hard to tell if you have flu or something else. Not an easy thing to tell at the beginning. I will say the flu tends to come more quickly, more like boom, boom, it came. Um, COVID uh, still comes, but it tends to be more uh, gradual. The only sure way of knowing, get tested. And she says now's a great time to get your flu vaccine, especially if you have underlying health conditions. If you're coughing, if you're sneezing, if you have a fever, just put a mask on so you can protect the ones around you. To find out where you can get a flu vaccine near you, you can head to vaccine.gov. In Fort Worth, Olivia Leach, CBS 11 News. In